Hi everybody. Okay, today's um, vlog is going to be a review on Black Angus Steakhouse. Um, I've been for a while not such a fan of that particular franchise because I felt like they are constantly upcharging and down upcharging their cost, but downsizing their portions and quality of food. My husband seemed to still always want to go, especially when there was any kind of promotions or, or coupons, what have you. So since our Valentine's lunch wasn't as exciting as we hoped it was going to be, and since Black Angus still had a promotion going on uh, through this weekend, we decided we'd go ahead and go out to dinner um, for that. So what we did was we got the Campfire Feast for Two. It was $47 on the special. Um, it used to be back in the day we would get the wagon wheel uh, appetizer. And again, as we watched time go by, it seemed like the portions and what they'd actually give you, it's like they kept like piling on more celery and less actual appetizers along with now they also upcharge for it. So we've nixed on getting that entirely. So the other thing is that when you look at the different appetizers, if you really want to get a bang for your buck, and as long as you like the ingredients in the nachos, they have a steakhouse chili nacho. Now that's probably the biggest portion size you can get. And what we do is we eat what uh, you know a bit for taste while we're there. My husband actually goes a little bit fur further overboard than I do because I want to leave room for the rest of the, the meal. But then you can take the rest home. So And there's no upcharge on that one. Um, I'm not a big fan of chili, I'm not a big fan of onions, and I'm not a big fan of jalapenos. So that's all the things that are in that, along with other things that are really yummy, like cheese and sour cream and all that good stuff. Um, I do like the steak that's spattered in there too. So if you are like my family, where my husband likes the onions, likes the jalapenos, maybe think to ask for maybe half and half, half without, half with, something like that. Or just simply pick what you don't like off and throw it on your husband's side of the, of the plate. And then um, the as far as the steak selections, the largest steak you can get is the New York Strip. And there's no upcharge for that one. And again, what I tend to want to do is uh, not eat all of it there. Like keep portioning out what I want to take home with me. Um, I even did that with the salad this time. Again, if you like a wedge salad, they upcharge you. I know it's only a dollar, but they upcharge you. So I'm thinking it's just freaking iceberg lettuce people. So I went ahead this time and got just the garden salad. But I was very pleasantly surprised that it used to just come on like a round dish plate. But they actually put it more like on an oval plate. So it does seem like you get more salad. But I even ate just a little bit of the salad. I always get my dressing on the side. And then I asked for a container so I could then have salad later, you know, probably sometime tomorrow. So I did that, and then as far as my other side, I did the um, the loaded baked potato. But what I also do is I ask for the bacon on the side because I don't care about the bacon, but my husband likes bacon, so that way I can hand that off to him. And did not get any steak sauce. I noticed that just the juice of the steak was seasoned well enough and nice and juicy that I was able just to kind of run my my steak piece in around that, and then it was very tasty. And then the next thing is that because they upcharge for you with it is mushrooms. I really like to have mushrooms with my steak. So we only got just one serving of it and we split it. That is still kind of squeaky to try to like actually split that between two people, but we make it work, especially since we both took some of our steak home. Now, uh, the this meal also comes with a dessert. I kind of wanted to pack the dessert to go because we were going to go back home anyway right after the meal, but my husband felt that he would, he thought it would be better if we ate it there. Note to myself for next time because we get the, um, uh, oh golly, what it's called. It's like a fudge cake. So you've got like this nice big chunk of chocolate cake that's really moist. And then they put a, a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top and then a little pitcher of fudge sauce to be able to drizzle around. I would say what would be a good idea to do is cut that cake in half. So leave one half of it completely just like, you know, cake without ice cream and without the fudge because it's very moist cake anyway. And then once you get home on another time that you want a dessert, you could use that cake with your own ice cream and have another dessert as well. But my husband wanted to go ahead and like just do the whole thing. So we did. So we ended up, of course, just leaving some, which I hate waste. So that was kind of a bummer. But... Oh well, learning for next time. 
And then our server's name was Brad. He was very good, very, very good, and I told him so. And then the manager at this particular location is very personable, very polite. So I feel like they are trying to up their game as far as portioning and uh, quality. Uh, I did feel that that was the case. Um, I still kind of get bugged by some of the upcharges. I mean, to me, like, a wedge salad should not be an upcharge. And, of course, some steaks are an upcharge, too. Like, if you want to get a filet mignon, then you have an upcharge. So that's the only thing that still kind of I get fussy about. But other than that, too, I've also learned that if you're going to get don't, – don't get a cocktail there because, again, they just load it up with so much ice that and and the size of the, of the cups are very, not very big. So, you know, for the cost of what they're charging you for the cocktail, just have something at home. Don't bother with it at the restaurant. I mean, unless you want to burn through money. It's just I'm very frugal. It's just my thing. So that's why I like to get quality and quantity, um, but reasonably priced is my, my hope, my hope for this whole thing. So I asked my husband, okay, so after everything, because he went ahead and he got an Arnold Palmer. I just got water with lemon. And so after, after tax and after tip, uh, it ended up being a total of $68 for the meal. But we were able to bring home almost a whole other, you know, like good large portion of the nachos. My son will probably devour that. We still have the, the whole other half of both of our steaks. And I still have my portion of salad. And the only thing that we could have still had was also some cake to, you know, have with um, home ice cream. Uh, so like I said, know that for next time. So that's it for the uh, Black Angus review. And I know I look a lot different than some of my other vlogs because I am actually wearing makeup tonight. Um, we're actually going to next go to um, a club that's uh, local uh, because there's a cover band. It's a cover band, a journey cover band that we have seen plenty of times before but haven't seen them in quite some time um, right now. Uh, They're called DSB. They're phenomenal. The lead singer is uh, sounds just like, just like Steve, Steve Perry, just like him sometimes maybe even better um so they do a great job so we're going to be going and seeing that next just and i don't know maybe i'll do a review on them too after that um or at least or at least a review about the venue because the only thing that my husband's actually a bit reluctant about about tonight is that the reviews on the venue itself haven't been all that great but it may not really affect us because most of the what people were not so happy about was uh food quality which we're not hungry you're not going to be eating uh, drink quality. I don't need to, I'm, I'm sure they water down everything. Most clubs do. Um, we're not going to be trying to get a table. We're just going to go general admission. So, but at least <clears throat> I can still give you an idea. Uh, I, cause I'm very, uh, what's the word? Observant. I, I observe people and situations so I can probably get a feel for what other people that were doing those things as far as food and drink and tables were and, uh, get, get a take on it. So anyway, that was just a side note on that one. Um, hope all you are doing great. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, please do. Um, I definitely run a gamut of lots of different things that I discuss. And just have fun. Be happy. Bye.